relational database uh, model Tumblr. This, in order to rigorously define the structure of a relational database, we need to be able to understand and use terminologies associated with the database. Now, a relational database data structure can look similar to a file-based structure as it also consists of records and fields. A table is a group of similar data in a database with rows for each instance of entity and columns for the attributes. So these are basically records, columns are fields. A record is a row in a table in a database. A field is a column in a table in a database. That is very simple. So record and feed. So this is complete table. For example, a database of students in the school could contain the table student with first name, second name, date of birth, and let's say ID. So this is sort of database table. Now, data is independent of the programs processing it. That was the beauty of the database. The data is independent of the programs. Programs, when they like to use, if they have access, they can use the same database. The term record and field are also used in file processing. So there is more rigorous terminologies used specifically for relational databases. Files of the data are replaced by tables with each row of the table representing a record. Record is also called tuple. A tuple sometimes called a logical record or an occurrence of the entity. So a record is basically showing uh, an entity, individual entity. Each column of the table is an attribute that can also be referred to as a field. An entity is anything that can have data stored above it, such as a person, a place, event, or an object. An attribute is an individual data item stored An attribute is an individual data item stored for an entity. To use the same example as this, for a student, attributes could include first name, first name, second name, date of birth and class. As I just said, a table is a group of similar data in a database with rows for each instance of the entity means a student is entity over here and columns for each attribute of those. A tuple is one instance of the entity which represents by a row, which is a record. Data is shared between applications using the database in order to ensure the consistency of data updating in controlled or automatic way so that any copies of the data items are changed to a new value. Also in order to reduce the number of copies of the data items to a minimum. A relational database uses pointers between tables, means relationship. These pointers are keys that provide relationship between the tables. There are several types of keys, but for you, there are three. Number one, the candidate key. Candidate key, the word key is for the fields which are actually having some special values attached to those 
For example, a candidate key is an attribute or the smallest set of attributes in the table where no tuple has the same value. A primary key is a unique identifier for a table. It is a special case of a candidate key. A secondary key is a candidate key that is an alternative to the primary key. So, so let's say there are three candidates which are standing and competing in an election. The one that is chosen is primary key. The other two are then secondary keys. And before the election result announced, they were all candidate keys. But they all three has different data in their column for every record. That is why they can be selected as the primary key individually. All right. That is how it works. So candidate key, primary key, and secondary key. Secondary or alternative key. So let me revise a candidate key is an attribute or smallest set of attributes in a table where no record has the same value. A primary key is a unique field for a table. It is a special case of a candidate key. A secondary key is a candidate key that is an alternative to the primary key. 